So all we're doing here is taking masking tape and putting down uh, lines, not trying to create any particular shape, <clears throat> just mainly creating spaces um, and trying to make sure that it's distributed fairly somewhat evenly across the canvas, which is primed in black acrylic paint making sure that the tape at least sticks to each other so it is easier to remove. Um, later on, ran out of tape, fixed it, and then I'm gonna rub down all the sides to make sure it's um, flat. Okay, so now we're just adding the resin. We wanna make sure that it's evenly distributed. Um, always take one of those little cups and dump it over um, so you, get, you can use all your resin and you don't have a whole bunch at the end that's just left over. Um, I do make little diamond stuff out of them, um, and use different smaller molds that I incorporate into other projects. Um, I'm just kind of smoothing it out, making sure I get that side, the exposed sides covered, um, making sure there's no gaps, um, as I go. And I'm also just kind of spreading it around throughout the canvas. If I get too much in one area, I try to move it to another, um, Nothing really complicated here. I'm using my finger to spread it around because it's just easier, even though these gloves are huge. Um, so they had at HEB, and God bless HEB because they handled this pandemic better than our freaking federal government did. But that's beside the point. Um, nothing to do with my project here. Uh, I am trying to keep it light on top of the tape. That'll just help removal later on. Um, and also trying not to go against uh, tape, uh, basically like peel it up, uh, trying not to do that. I, instead of leaving my resin in one big thing and adding it to the same little cup and coloring it, instead I separated it out into um, three quarter ounce uh, portions and just mixed the same ratios of black acrylic paint and black um, uh, black pearlized mica powder uh, that I got off Amazon and yep that's pretty much it not a complicated process here just messy Here I'm using my little heat gun and popping all the bubbles. I don't need to move any resin around, so this gun's fine for that. Um, and right now I'm just scraping off the tape to go in and any little holes I see, I am filling those in as I go. Um, trying not to knock the canvas off of the risers. <laughs> Time to color. I'm going to start with yellow and work my way through the rainbow down to bright orange. Um, so I'm starting out with a light yellow, a uh, neon yellow, and then working into a darker one and then moving into greens. On this first one, I realized that even though I do want it to cover the sides and kind of roll over or drip over, 
um, I was losing all my resin. So I, um, I put up some tape dams for the rest of, for the remainder of the project. And, um, you can see later on that I waited until it got really close to set and then pulled it off and tried to, uh, fill in on the sides as much as I could. Um, this took a ton of resin and probably all in. I started this at about 8.30 in the morning and the next time I looked up it was about 12.30. So uh, th this definitely took a while and it took a ton of resin. So anyway, um, I probably won't stop and talk to you for quite a while longer, if at all. So happy watching. I didn't realize the camera stopped and I made it all the way down to purplish pink or pink whichever we're on right now so I'm swirling the colors together because I layer them in the shapes um, and swirl them together so they look a little bit more faded but I don't actually blend the colors all the way so that you can still see the swirling streaks and when it's finished I'll zoom in on that so you can see what the hell I'm talking about um, going through popping bubbles I use the little um, what I call my little heat gun because I do not want to move the resin around once I've got the swirl pattern in there I just want to pop the bubbles 
So, um, okay, back to it. So, um, this being my first tutorial, I think it went fairly well. Um, just a few more steps to do in part A. I will come back in a minute and show you those, but I'm super pumped about how this turned out so far. Um, me managed to mitigate any major disasters. Um, may have waited a little bit too long to remove the final tape dam. And uh, it got a little sticky, some pretty sticky finger situation. Um, so I quit filming because I had to and um, to carry that off camera. So yeah, those like, <laughs> I'm stuck. Like literally I just pulled the glove, my hand out of the glove because it was so effing stuck. And the dogs are super annoying and I'm sorry. Anyway, yay! 